Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Froggy Stonks. Nothing I give is financial advice, and it is for entertainment purposes only. I want to open up today with a tweet from my man Joey again, who retweeted Ken Rude saying Bloomberg is talking about institutional margin calls this morning. Let's fucking go. If that's true, that is fantastic. We have all been waiting for these margin calls. I don't know how they haven't happened already especially after the fiasco on January 28th with the Robin Hood buy button. So very interesting on that. Adam Aaron also tweeted, we formally will be announcing our fourth quarter and year end 2021 earnings this Tuesday, March 1st at 4 p.m. Central Time. We hope as many shareholders as possible will listen in to the live webcast. Here's the link for more details. I will put that link in the description along with the link to the scheduled Froggy Stonks YouTube live stream of this with Twitter Spaces calls in which we will have commentary from shareholders after the AMC earnings call. Super excited. A little bit of prelim, Barron's has reposted AMC Entertainment's holdings on Tuesday, this was past time, uh, gave investors positive news about its underlying business. AMC stock ticker rose 9.7% to 1762 that Tuesday morning where they had talked about the preliminary earnings for AMC. You can go see that still posted online. Just type in Q4 AMC preliminary earnings. Um, about those though, they gave really wide spreads on any type of losses. It's interesting they used like 192 million to 117 million. So that gap they gave themselves is really smart because I think what will happen tomorrow is Adam Aaron will come out and announce an extremely, extremely bullish number either on the low end of that bracket or beating it. So super excited about that. I ran a poll on Twitter uh, at tspencer322 if you want to go see it. How many AMC... Holders own at least 500 shares. Adam Aaron tweeted again last week that there was 4 million plus or minus shareholders. So really interesting. Out of this poll, out of 1,527 people, 81.3% voted that they had at least 500 shares and 18.7% is 500 or less. I used very generic numbering on this just to prove a point. Even with just this and just 500 shares we can see that there's an issue with ownership in the float 1527 votes 81.3 own 500 or more 18.7 own 499 or fewer or zero amc free float is 513.3 million 4 million shareholders times a 500 share average is 2 billion shares 20% margin of error, 3.2 million shareholders, 400 average, average is still 1.28 billion shares. This is insane how conservatively in lowball I did this. If you take the real numbers and you look at how many people own way more than 500 shares average, the comments I got on that, I, I am making a prediction and i think adam aaron has hinted at it in my opinion that we are at minimum three times over the legally issued flow i think it's probably way more at this point there's literally no covering it up when you take a simple poll of around 1500 to 2000 people and 81 percent say they own 500 or more shares and then in the comments section, I got comments like, hey, I only own 300 and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Do not be embarrassed about whatever you hold, you hold and that's great. I just used it very vaguely to prove a point that even with very simple statistics and very, very based values, you can see that we are exceeding the float massively. So super interesting. I hope we hit on that soon. And don't forget, the 13F2 SEC rule has been voted on. It is short seller reporting. They must now report institutionally if they have $10 million or 2.5% of the shares, they must now report their short positions. Um, I'm not sure if it's in effect yet. There is a 60 day comment period, but rumor on the street is it's supposed to go into effect the third. That is a big win for retail. Finally, AMC doing its thing, hit 1827 this morning. I actually was hoping to see the shorts try to push it back down to 15 because I was going to throw a big bet down on it. 
to play off on the earnings call tomorrow. Super excited about it. Please, please come to the YouTube stream, share it with your friends, come to the Twitter Spaces call. Um, we're going to have really good commentary after Adam Aaron drops earnings on us. I'm hoping he's going to announce retail popcorn with Ellen Kopakin, the VP of popcorn, the princess of popcorn. I want to see the stuff in stores so I can start using it on my live streams, man. We all love popcorn. Make sure you go to the movies. I'm going to see Batman tomorrow night. I am freaking excited. I'm taking four people with me, getting my comic book. I am, I'm, I'm super blown away. Just excited about the pre-sale ticket sellouts um it's it's extremely bullish i am a little bummed that they are not playing the godfather at my theater specifically i'd have to drive 300 miles but can't get everything i want anyways you guys thanks for coming please if you could like subscribe trying to grow the channel everybody enjoy the earnings calls i hope you all win and stay froggy